What you can see behind me is all that remains. Telling the sad story of how a fire which started around 7 p.m. on Tuesday destroyed three houses, leaving 12 people now homeless. I was at home sitting down. Yes, my phone, charging my phone. Then I see the little boy run. And I asked him, Where your mom? He said, His mother's not home. So when they get up to go and get a cup of make a cup of tea, I just see the fire. So me and my cousin went with some water to a chip on the house. And he told me to go on the yard and turn on the hose. This is where you get the fire out. So the heat can't too much me. So when they start to run around the house, I get burned in my back. And I come out. And I say have nothing. Not even my phones, my clothes. Hours after the first fire in Douglas Road, the second blaze of unknown origin destroyed two wooden homes along with the popular first and last bar in Upper Carlton. Owner Peter Hines said the fallout from the bar is close to $100,000, but he is grateful to have a nearby apartment in the meantime. The damage could have been a lot worse, so we are grateful that it hasn't been any worse. Um, Wednesday and Saturdays are usually fairly good days and uh, we'll count our losses and make some arrangement and bounce back again. Member of Parliament for St. James North, Edmund Hinkson, visited the victims and is appealing to the public for assistance.